If you're looking for some micro habits that you can incorporate into your daily routine, be sure to watch this entire video because I will go over all of them. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe. And with that being said, let's get into the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So in this year of 2024, I am definitely trying to level up. By that, I mean physically, mentally, emotionally, and pretty much every aspect of my life. Obviously, this doesn't happen overnight. What I realized is that it's really the small things that I incorporate into my daily routine that make a significant impact. Okay, the first one is kind of a no-brainer, but it's so important, which is water. It is so important for your body to be hydrated throughout the day and getting a lot of water in your system is crucial. I feel like it's something that we all know that we should do, but it's so easy to forget when you're busy throughout the day. And water doesn't have to be boring. One of my favorite ways to drink water is to put infusions in it, and by that I mean lemon water. Of course, lemon water is hydrating, but also it has other benefits like vitamin C, it also improves your digestion, and overall it really does help me feel more energized throughout the day. So yes, I absolutely love putting infusions in my water, not making it a boring thing, rather making it something that I look forward to drinking. On to my second habit, which is journaling. Journaling is such a good way to self-reflect and just have some time with yourself. Journaling can be done in so many different ways. There's no right way or wrong way to do it. I just love finding a cozy corner of my home, pulling out my journal notebook, and just writing down my daily goals, also things that like I'm grateful for, and just whatever I'm feeling at that day, time, moment, I will write down. Journaling is something I never really used to do before, but after doing it for a while, it really has helped me mentally. I personally like to do it in the morning time before I get started with my day. That way, I just kind of write down whatever I'm thinking first thing in the morning, and it really helps. So yes, journaling is a great way to just manage that brain up there. <laughs> the next one is one of my favorite things ever, which is having a morning and a night routine. Again, there's no right or wrong way to have a morning and night routine, but the habits that you do when you start your day and when you end your day really impact your overall self. For example, for my morning routine, the very first thing I like to do is go to my living room and do some stretches on my yoga mat. And then after that, I will just sit down and journal. I will also read a daily devotional at this time and like two chapters of the Bible. And then after that, I will go make some breakfast and some iced coffee. I'm a huge coffee lover, but one thing that has really helped me feel better is when I make breakfast first and then I drink the coffee after I eat. Um, that's a little pro tip, but yes, having a healthy breakfast is super important to start my day. Usually it'll be something more high protein, like a Greek yogurt parfait or um, egg bites. I've been having recently. They're really good. They're from Costco. Another tiny little habit that I found is helpful for me is doing my makeup. And this might sound kind of like cheesy, like what do you mean? Like makeup really that impacts your life and I'm not saying you have to wear makeup all the time because I definitely don't my skin really needs a break sometimes from it and I have breakouts and all that helps me just really feel like I got ready for the day so therefore I have to be productive if that makes sense even if for you it's not makeup maybe it's putting on a little nicer of an outfit or doing your hair a little better to feel like hey I'm really like preparing myself physically for the day and I want to be productive each day. So see it's a small things in your routine that make a huge difference. As for my night routine, I love to spend this time doing some self-care and just relaxing and unwinding. At night, doing skincare is like my favorite thing ever. I love my skincare routine at nighttime. Just the process of it is just so like soothing to me. I don't even know what it is. Having a skincare routine in general is really important. Your products don't have to be super fancy. For example, I've been using the Youth to the People mini birthday set that I got from Sephora, so it was technically free, but, but if I'm not using that, I'm using like CeraVe products. There's a whole lot of products that are affordable and that you can use in your skincare routine. Really, it's just washing your face and moisturizing your face is key. And of course, brushing my teeth, getting in a nice comfy set of PJs or sweatpants. And at this time, I will set my alarm and then throw my phone far away so I'm not scrolling on TikTok all night 
and go to sleep. The next habit that I highly recommend doing every single day is walking or making some sort of movement every day. Lately, I have been loving doing my outdoor walks. I just love being in the sun when I have the chance. It feels so good to just walk in the sunlight for a little bit and get some fresh air. And I've been having a recent goal of doing 10K steps a day. And I've been really loving just going outside, even exploring different places if I have time to. Walking is actually so much better for us than we think. So while I'm outside, another habit that I like to incorporate in my everyday routine, especially as of recently, is listening to a podcast. It's so easy for me to be on Instagram all day, be on TikTok and just scroll, scroll, scroll. Literally the amount of time that I am on social media, I could be incorporating a couple of those hours into benefiting myself. Listening to a podcast is just so much better for me than seeing social media all day. It really depends on my mood for a podcast. I'll either listen to something for self-improvement or entrepreneurship, um, business, self-growth, self-love, any of that really. Anything that's going to benefit you or you want to self-improve on, I would take like at least an hour a day listening to a podcast. Feels like I'm getting something more out of my time than just scrolling on social media all day. Another small habit that really has significantly helped me personally, financially, and in many other ways is making a grocery list and planning your meals for the week. I used to be a no list, just vibes kind of girl when it came to the grocery store, and that is not a good thing <laughs> because I just like went in the grocery store with no plans and I would just kind of like go as I went in the store and it felt kind of like unprepared. I got a lot of things I didn't need. They ended up going bad. You waste money. Go through your fridge first, see what you still have, see what's still good, and then plan your meals around that. Also, I like to plan my meals around the weekend time, and then on either Sunday or Monday, I will go get all the groceries for the week. Also, making a list ahead of time helps me prepare to make more healthier, balanced meals. I love using TikTok and Pinterest for food and meal inspo. So yeah, definitely check out those two apps if you need some ideas. And the last mini habit that you should definitely incorporate in your day-to-day -day routine is working on your craft. By this, it's different for everybody. For me, it is obviously my YouTube channel. It is quite easy for me to get distracted and in like creative funks, but if I do stay focused and work on it little by little each day, I feel motivated and I really genuinely enjoy what I do and I love YouTube so much. For me, that would be filming, editing, um, planning out content on Notion, which I love by the way, not sponsored, hopefully someday, but I love using the app Notion for planning and organizing my content. You can also use that app just for like in general organizing your life, highly recommend. Now working on your craft, whether that's singing, YouTube, music, um, small business, whatever the case is. And it's so easy to get caught up in thinking that we just don't have time these days to work on our craft. But honestly, we do. It's just a matter of organizing our time better, having better time management, something I really struggle with. But really making more time to work on your craft, whether it's waking up an hour earlier or carving some time out later in the day to work on it. And if you just have 30 minutes to work on it at a local coffee shop, 30 minutes is 30 minutes closer to achieving your dream. Time managed better so that you can work on achieving your dreams every single day because it is possible. And with that being said, that concludes today's video on small habits you can incorporate in your life to level up for 2024. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below what do you want to see from me or if you just want to say hi or put an emoji. Thank you so much again for watching. Watching and I will see you guys soon in the next video.